Hello guys. Today we will learn how to create background overlays in After Effect. Like this one. This one. And this one. It is a long video. But if you watch till end you will learn all from start to end about making overlay in CC Particle World in After Effect. So let's get started. First make a folder so all your stuff will be in one place. Go to Google search and type PNG images of musical notes. Select images you like. Right click on it and go to save image as. And save in your folder. Save three different kind of musical notes. Go to Google search and change it to PNG images of soap bubbles. Select images you like. Right click on it and go to save image as. And save in your folder. Go again in Google search change it to PNG images of maple leaf. Select images you like. Right click on it and go to save image as. And save in your folder. Save three different kind of maple leaf. Now even these images are PNG. But some of them have background. So to make sure our images are completely without background, open Adobe Photoshop with the preset of 1920 by 1080. Go to File and Place Embedded. If you delete background layer you can see it has some whitish background. To remove that, click on the corner of Eraser Tool and select Magic Eraser Tool. Make sure to rasterize your layer. After that just click on the background you want to remove now your image is completely without background. Right click on the layer and give stroke if you like. You can change any color you want. After selecting your color, go to image. Adjustments and Gradient Map Make sure to click on Full Color not any gradient Now adjust its size by going in Edit and Free Transform or pressing Ctrl plus T Make its size around this big and adjust its stroke if you think it's too much. Now go to File and Save as Give name and Save as PNG format.
Do same with all musical notes. and all your maple leaves.
With your soap bubble image if you have more than one just simply erase rest with the eraser tool. You just need one bubble image because they are all same. After effect can make it in different sizes. After finishing all images, open your After Effect with new composition of 1920 by 1080, frame rate of 30, time as long you want and background color black. Click OK. Click on project and drag all your PNG musical notes images, your background image and your background music files in. Drag your first PNG image in the timeline, and click on eye icon to hide it. Go to Layer, New and Solid click OK. Rename New Solid by pressing Enter. I am giving name 1 because it will link to PNG image 1. Select new solid layer. And go to effect, simulation and CC particle world. Go to grid and guides and uncheck all. To clear your screen. Set its birth rate to 0 0.1 Go to producer and set radius X to 2 and radius Y to 2 Go to Physics and set Velocity to 0. Gravity to 0 0.01. Go to Particle and change Particle Type to Textured Quad Polygon. Change Texture Layer to your PNG Image 1. 
Set birth size to 2 and death size to 1.5 Max opacity to 100% and clear opacity map like this. Set longevity to 20. To stop its rotation change rotation speed and initial rotation to zero. Now they are falling and we want them to go up. So change gravity to negative 0.001. They are looking small so change its birth size to 4 and death size to 2. If you think they are moving very slowly you change its gravity to negative 0.005. Perfect. Now select solid one layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate layer. Drag your PNG image 2 and PNG image 3 from project to timeline. And click on eye icon to hide them. Select solid 2 layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate layer. Select Solid 2 layer go to Effect Controls and click on Particle. Go to Texture and change Texture layer to PNG Image 2. Same way select Solid 3 layer go to Effect Controls and click on Particle. Go to Texture and change Texture layer to PNG Image 3. You can see that all three musical notes are joined together. Because layer 2 and 3 are duplicate of 1 so they are all same and start from same point. To scatter them all, what we need to do is change its position from one another like this. After doing that make sure to extend layer till end. Now you can set your background image and background music. If you want same image and music I will give link in the description you can copy and paste in the Google search and download. Now you can go and file and export it.
Next we will do soap bubbles effect. Open your after effect with the same composition. Go to project drag your bubble PNG image and background image. Drag PNG image in timeline and click on eye icon to hide it. Go to layer, new and solid click OK. Select new solid layer and go to effect, simulation and CC particle world. Go to grid and guides and uncheck all to clear your screen. Set birth rate to 1 and longevity to 14. Go to producer and set radius X to 2 and radius Y to 1. Go to physics and set velocity to 0. Gravity to negative 0 0.005. Go to Particle Set Particle Type to Textured Quad Polygon. Set Rotation Speed to 0 and Initial Rotation to 0. Birth Size to 4 and Death Size to 2. Go to Texture and set Texture Layer PNG 7. Set Max Opacity to 100%. If you think there are too much change birth rate to 0.5. and you can change its size if you are not satisfied I will change birth size to 5 or 6 and death size to 3. Drag your background image under solid layer and adjust it. Select solid layer and clear opacity map like this. Perfect. Save your project. And export it. Let's do one more. Open your After Effect with the same composition. Go to Project Drag your all Maple Leaf PNG images and background image.
drag PNG image in timeline. And click on eye icon to hide it. Go to layer, new and solid click OK. Select new solid layer. And go to effect, simulation and CC particle world. Go to grid and guides and uncheck all. To clear your screen. Go to producer and set radius X to 2 and radius Y to 1. Go to physics and set velocity to 0. Gravity to negative 0.05. Go to Particle Set Particle Type to Textured Quad Polygon. Go to Texture and Set Texture Layer PNG4. Birth Size to 6 and Death Size to 3. Click on this 3D icon to make it 3D. Set rotation speed to 160 to 200 and initial rotation to 360. Change longevity to 14 and birth rate to 0 0.5. Change gravity to 0 0.03 Set max opacity to 100% Clear opacity map like this If you want you can change rotation speed to 200 Drag PNG images 5 and 6 in the timeline. And click on eye icon to hide it. Select solid layer click enter to rename I will give name 4. Press twice Ctrl plus D to duplicate layer with the name 5 and 6. Select solid layer 5. Go to effect controls and particle. Go to Texture and change Texture Layer to PNG5 Image. Select Solid Layer 6. Go to Effect Controls and Particle. Go to Texture and change Texture Layer to PNG6 Image. You can see that all three Maple Leaf are joined together. Because Layer 5 and 6 are duplicate of 4 so they are all same and start from same point. To scatter them all, what we need to do is change its position from one to another like this. After doing that make sure to extend layer till end. Drag background image in the timeline and play. Guys, it's not looking perfect to me. Leaves are not looking clear like we have reduced their opacity. Some overlays won't look better unless it is made in green screen. To understand we will make both in green and black background. Let's try in green screen. 
To do that we need to go composition and composition settings. Change its background color to green and make sure to copy code before hitting OK because we want same color in layer also. Select solid layer 4. Go to layer and solid settings and click on color and paste same code for same color and hit OK. Do same as all solid layer. After doing that go to file and export. If you use Adobe Media Encoder to export it will export in black background. If you wanted to export in green screen. Go to File, Export and click on Add to Render Queue. Leave Render Settings as Best Settings. Click on Lossless and change its settings too. Same as this. And click OK. In Output to choose where you want to save it. Click on Render. It will render in green background but it will save in AVI format and very big file. To change it to MP4 format. When render is complete, open Media Encoder and drag AVI file in Media Encoder. You got it green screen overlay in MP4 format. If you use both green screen and black background overlay you will see the difference.
That's it hope you like and learn from it. Thank you for watching please like, share, comment and subscribe my channel.